Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thanks for joining me today. Reviewing software update 2021.36 here in our Tesla Model 3 Performance here in Sydney, Australia. Testing out the auto park feature. Vision only apparently with no cars around me. And we're gonna try that out right now on my left. Just some painted lines with no cars. Let's do it right now. So there we are. Let's shift to reverse after pressing the P. As I said, there are no cars to my left as you can see on the camera there. Let's do it. Let's see which spot it takes. Okay, adjusting. There is a car ahead of me, as you can see. So I will keep my hands close to the wheel, just in case. Again, uh, with this update, the cameras are only in use, not the sensors. So it's using the, uh, the white lines basically only and road edges. And hey, Presto, that is actually not bad. That's pretty close to where I would have gone. So yeah, pretty impressive. Let's uh, try that one more time to, uh, to that side now. Let's go where that Honda is, but kind of uh, next to it, or maybe at least a couple of spots down. Let's do that. All right, let's press start. So I shifted to reverse, flick up there. Let's see what happens. So it's gonna pick Again, starts off a little wonky, doesn't it? But then it adjusts. So again, it's not using the silver car as a guidance, but rather the white lines as per vision only for 2021.36. Got a bit of rain too, so just to add to a bit of fun to this test. Okay, so this time it's a bit further from the curve than I would have done. Uh, so yeah, probably, <laughs> probably two feet, one or two feet out. I, we are sticking out of the spot, so. So 50% so far. Let's go try something else. All right, so we've got some more parking spots here. Now, these lines aren't as well marked, but we'll give it a try anyway. Reverse again and pressing start. So we are in Australia, so it's a, we are a right-hand drive country. So it'll always try to swing to the left side, I believe. I suppose we could try being on the wrong, wrong side of the road. Not sure if that would work. Let's see what happens this time. Attempt number three. That is quite a tall curb behind me. Taller than the other two. And uh, the mark lane markings, well, the parking lines aren't as good this time as the previous one. But hey, that's actually not bad. That's probably as good as I would have done, I reckon. Yeah, that's definitely a pass. So that's uh, two out of three. I'll just show you what happens when we're close to like this side of the road, to the right side. Let's see what happens. We are right-hand drive country, like I said. So will it take parking spots on this side? Ah, it still does. There you go. It still does, interesting. It knows we're on this side of the road, even though it's the wrong side. But I guess in a car park, it doesn't matter. It'll just pick the closest lanes or the closest markings. And uh, you know what, it's doing it in good time, like done it maybe a little bit faster without cars around me but hey not bad and again that's not bad that's pretty close to the curb again probably the same as, as what I would have done so that, that's three out of four now 75% not bad 
Let's try a couple more tests. Okay, so we're just pulling up into this car park. Now this car park is a little bit different uh, because the spots are angled, uh, not 90 degrees. So let's see what happens here. Now these spots are kind of angled back towards us, to our left. So let's see what happens now with auto park. Okay, so it's not picking it up with the angled spots. Let's try a little bit closer, like here, really right up close to it. Yeah, so auto park doesn't show up as you can see there. What about these ones to my right? So these ones are angled back kind of away from us on our right. Let's see what happens. Again, the, lame, the um, parking spot markings aren't great either, but again, it's not picking it up. What about to the left here? Okay, so interesting. So the, the lines have to basically be perfectly perpendicular to where your car is. Interesting. We'll just do one more parallel parking test. But uh, I think, you know, it's not bad. Not bad at all, really. Okay, we're just gonna pull up next to this van here to my left and attempt to do a parallel park on auto park. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it didn't pick it up on this occasion. So we'll have to try parallel park another time. But I believe it's only perpendicular parking anyway. That's uh, the vision based. All right, guys, well, there you go. That's, um, what was that? Three out of four attempts uh, with the perpendicular parking past. So yeah, not bad at all. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know if you've attempted perpendicular parking with a new uh, vision system with 21.36 21 update. Otherwise, take care, stay safe, and as always, happy charging.